Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna actually go learn how to fly now. Oh, you started? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought oh, that... No, e Ethan was... <laughs> okay, there was, was a... There waiting was... for the countdown. <laughs> no, because typically what we do before we start actually, like, le legitimately, like, playing is one, one of us always goes three, two, one, and then we start. Yeah, we do a countdown. But Ethan gave me an, an, an what I thought was an affirmative to actually start the episode. Yeah. So then I just started talking like I was going to do the episode, so... That That's is, a great way to start. That that is twice I have disappointed you today. Twice. Yeah, I hung up on our on our operator, and Josh was upset with me. Yeah, we because I, Ethan, the true question is like, is I need to know how to beat Banjo Kazooie. No, we would tell him how to beat Banjo Kazooie. That that stupid bitch probably doesn't know what he's doing. Well, if he works for Prima, ah! he knows because that's the Prima. Getting hurt. Line. You're getting hurt. No, I'm not. Calm down. Uh, you're getting hurt! No, I'm not! Calm down! Well, th th thank you, Ethan. You got- you, you distracted up. me. Ah! Now I'm getting hurt. I was not getting hurt there. You're hurting me. Okay, so... I gotta get back up here. But before I do that... Boy, I'm just playing this kind of haphazardly. I was gonna say, you were all over the place. Yeah, I still need to go back and get that Jinjo. I still need to... Um... See, I need to figure out which part of the map, because typically when I do, like, a, a 3D platformer, I typically stick to one part of the map. Yeah. And then I move on. So, I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll do the flying stuff later. Shut up, Bottles. Teach me how to do this. Okay, so now he's teaching us how to do the jump platforms. Breaking news! Pokemon developer Game Freak says they're working on a new entry in the in a globally popular RPG series. Oh. Can't imagine what that's going to be. Was that sarcasm? Yes. Game Freak. It's going to be fucking Pokemon. You know it's going to be Pokemon. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I like Pokemon. It's, it's not as good as Digimon. They're saying that there is going to be uh, Pokemon Eclipse or Stars or whatever is going to be on the Switch. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really like Sun and Moon. Yeah, Sun and Moon was a disappointment to me. I was bored playing it. The last the, half of that game is a, is a fucking grind, dude. The, it's... the way I described it was it felt like going on a field trip to the zoo, but anytime you tried to stop and look at something, your teacher would violently grab you by your wrist and go, no, 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 you're not having fun the way I want you to. Whereas Breath of the Wild is, was the, just like, is the cool you. teacher. It's Here's like, a gun, kid. Go no. crazy. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is the cool teacher that walks in like, Hey guys, I'm hungover. I'm just going to put my head down, take a little bit of a nap. You go ahead and just do what you want to do today. It's a free he, day. Link, Link walks in and he, he grabs a textbook, throws it in the trash, and then tells everyone to call him by his first name. Yeah. Just call me Mark. Yeah, Link's real name is Mark, Mark. actually. You going to leave me alone, sir? Go away, Jaws. There he goes. So... Dun, 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 I lost track of what I was getting ready to do. I was getting ready to do some. Oh, go over here. I believe there's important stuff in here. I don't remember. Oh, there's yeah, there's there's music notes. God, I love the music in this game. Like straight up. Like yeah, Grant, Grant Kirkhope. Grant you're Kirkhope fucking genius, is a dude. legend. And he's back for ukulele. Uh, yeah, if it couldn't be done right, it, you had to have Grant Kirkhope for ukulele. Yeah. I would not si I would not accept any other composer. Yeah, Unless I shit. would accept Ludwig von Beethoven. <laughs> We're going to reanimate him. Yes. Or we can find another dude who's named Ludwig von Beethoven. Yeah. Oh, there's an extra life down there. I don't feel like going for that right now. Do you though. think the Beethoven name has survived? Did he ever fuck? Did he have kids? I am sure that he did at some point. He was deaf. Like, nobody likes deaf people. I don't know how true that is. No. I, I don't like them. Because <laughs> they can't hear me. <laughs> they say what and, all yeah, the time. Yeah, I say, I say hey. I don't like you, and they, they, they just turn to me and go, what? <laughs> yeah, it's insulting to me. It's like, listen, no, I, you're, you're being rude to me. No, I I, I love... I, I, I'm I very supportive of... of de what am I trying to say here? How do I, they, how you, do, how you do I backpedal on this? deaf people. I'm empathetic with your situation. I, I don't... It's not that I don't like deaf people. I like deaf people. Fuck, I've backed myself into a corner here. 
deaf people, you're cool. I think that you, do, Ethan, there's no need to talk yourself out of this because I think that it's pretty well known that you're not serious, that you don't hate deaf people. This is true. This is true. I, I, I love, I don't know. I was about to say I love blind people too. <laughs> It's like that joke that we always make. It's like, dude, I, 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 I fucking love gay people. It's oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't that a King of the Hill thing where he's like, yeah, that I took might a, be. King I took of a the quiz Hill. and it said I love gay people. Huh? Did not see that one coming. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Okay. Well, Mr. Krabs over here. Y fucking you. Where, where's Krabs. me? Where, where's me dollar? <laughs> Arg. Where's me money, SpongeBob? Oh God, man, Grant Kirkhope, you have quite. The quite the list of uh, things under your belt. It's because he's a legend. That's what legends do. Let's see. Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Yay. Land 2, Project Dream, GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Perfect Dark, Banjo-Tooie, Star Fox Adventures, Grabbed by the Ghoulies, Viva Pinata, Viva Pinata, Trouble, Trouble in Paradise, Banjo-Kazooie, hey, Ghost Balls, Kingdom of Amalar, Reckoning, Fart Cart, I got Kart, a Jiggy. Uh, Fart Cat, Cityville 2, Desktop Dun Dungeons, Castle of Illusion, Starry Mickey Mouse, Puzzle Charms, Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden Z, Civilization Beyond Earth, The Enchanted Cave 2, Civilization Beyond Earth, Rising Tide, Ghostbusters, Drop Zone, Ukulele, A Hat in Time, The King's Daughter, Hex Heroes, Loads Burstrukura. So here's, hmm, as Grant Kirkhope, do you think, because as, as you can very tell, he has a lot of things that he's worked on. So do you think that it's insulting to him because everyone always associates him with Banjo? Do you think that he gets tired of that? No, probably not. Can, can, anything I've ever seen Grant Kirkhope in, he's always been he's always he's always been a super proud dude of, of the stuff he's worked on. Oh, I'm not saying that he's not proud, but what I'm Fucking saying is that do you just think he just gets tired of talking about banjo? Because I'm sure that that's all people ask him about. No, because I feel like the conversation would go like, "Oh yeah, I loved your work in banjo," and then they'd start talking about other games that Rare did, and then he'd be like, "Oh yeah, I also did the music for that too," and then it'd be like, "Oh, get the fuck out, really." Diddy Kong Racing, great soundtrack. Did he do Diddy Kong Racing? I'm sure he did. If it was a Rare game, no. He didn't do Diddy Kong Racing? No, he did Donkey Kong uh, Land 2 and Donkey Kong uh, 64. Dude, fucking Diddy Kong Racing has a killer soundtrack. Who did the fucking music for that? I don't know. Let's find let's out. Let's find that out because Dude, we I... should just play a bunch of Rare games. Let's do like uh, Jet Force Gemini and like Grab by the Ghoulies and shit. Well, considering that we currently have the Rare Replay. Yeah, we are playing on the Rare Replay. Available now on your Xbox One. Don't buy an Xbox One though. <laughs> so, we had to move the Xbox One... Uh, for for the recording session, I had never held an Xbox One before, and I've really never truly looked at one. They are a monstrosity to look at. It's a VCR, dude. It's, it's sitting it's, on top of your PS4 right now, and it's it's yeah. it's hanging over the edges of it. Yeah, what's this way? I don't uh, backpedaling a little bit. The music for Diddy Kong was done by David w Fuck. David Wise. Well, he did great. He was a co-composer with Grant Kirkhope. Fuck. At Rare. No, don't go from... down. What are you doing? 85 to 2009 and was the company's sole musician up till 94. Oh no. Oh, uh, no. He did the music for the Donkey Kong Country series. That's a great soundtrack too. What other games have you done? Uh, let's see. He did Slalom, which is also on Fuck. here and a lot of fun. Wizards and Warriors. Um, Marble Madness. WWF WrestleMania on the NES. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did California games on the NES. Oh boy. Um... Joe Jordan versus Bird. Oh, it was a Jiggy. I forgot that this is what this was. Um, what's more recent games he's done? Let's see. What are you doing? 2017. He is. Oh, that game Snake Pass. He did the the music for that. That game looks awesome. Cause as of this recording, it, it has not come out. Yeah. I'm assuming weird. that by the time this drops, it will be out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know actually. We they have we don't schedule switch. our videos very smartly. Not really. We're not smart then. Uh, let's see. He's also co-composer on ukulele with Grant Kirkhope and Steve Burke. What's in here? Oh, okay. He also did the music for um, Fuck. Damn Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, uh, Star Fox Adventures. Really? Damn it. Boy, he's been all over the place. Good for him. You're kick-ass, David Wise. He's I no didn't, Grant I didn't know you. Dude, Grant Kirkhope wouldn't be where he is today if it weren't for David Wise. Fair point. Same for Steve Burke. From the Isle of Man. Hang on, there's something. What's down here? What games did Burke work the jig, on? It's a jiggy. Okay. See, I know. Here's the thing. I know that there's important locations, but I don't remember what exactly is in those locations. And then I remember, oh, hey, like that's a jiggy, or that that's a Jinjo, or yeah, that's a uh, honeycomb piece, stuff, stuff, stuff like that. 
Hmm. Boy, that's just straight silence between us. I know. <laughs> I was, we, were, we were deep. We were deep in what we were doing there. Yeah. Um, Can we just do like a silent let's play where like we're just we're quiet? Like we don't talk, but like you occasionally hear us like cough or like clear our throats and stuff. That would basically just be a walkthrough at that point. Like people like. They're not watching necessarily for the Let's Play. They're watching for just, like, a tip on how to do something in yeah. the game. Which, why would you need a walkthrough if you have the Prima strategy guide? Well, I don't know. I'll be honest. Like, it's a little hypocritical of me. But nothing nothing makes me more angry whenever I load up a video looking how to beat a level. And the first thing goes, hey, everybody, this is... Yeah. This is this is Cynix here coming... Not Cynix. That's not the name. Cynix is an artist. Why, why would I use his name? He's a cool dude. Um... Like, it would be one thing if we loaded up as like, Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh and Ethan from Joybot. Like, that that would be really annoying to yeah, me. Yeah, we try so to... That, that's why we don't do natural. that. But you know what? You're going to get to hear our intro next time. Ethan, do you want to play more next time? Mm. I take that as a yes. I was drinking. Goodbye. <laughs>